Knicks family, what's popping is your boy. According to Pat Ford from Sports Illustrated, Kenny Payne could be gone, ladies and gentlemen. He tweeted out earlier today that according to sources, Louisville's coaching search is narrowing in on Knicks assistant Kenny Payne. There's nothing definitive yet, but if talks progress, he could be announced this week. I love it for Kenny Payne. I love to see any person grow in their career. I hate it for the New York Knicks. The Knicks need as many mentor-like figures in that locker room as possible. As possible, especially when you're dealing with so many young men. They lose Woody last season. Now they could possibly lose Kenny Payne. Great for those guys, and I wish them much success. But, man, we need figures like them in the locker room. Mike Woodson was that big uncle father-like figure, you know, Uncle Phil type of guy that I think was very good with people like Julius Randle, helping to keep Julius Randle in check, helping him to keep his emotions in check. And I think there was a different relationship between Mike Woodson and Julius Randle than there is with Kenny Payne and Julius Randle because Mike Woodson, while he has that father-like figure, he's been in the league for a while. So he's trusted and respected as an NBA coach. Kenny Payne is just getting into the league, but he knows Julius Randle from a youth, which also makes a big difference. Either way, the Knicks, over two years, have lost two very good, oh, I'm not going to say lost yet, could possibly lose two very good coaches. And shall I say, it would behoove Tom Thibodeau to bring in an experienced NBA coach to replace Kenny Payne. Someone who's been, maybe even been a head coach in the NBA. I think it will help Tom Thibodeau with strategies, but also provide that strong adult male figure in the locker room. Not that those guys aren't adults, but older adult male figure in the locker room uh, to give these guys some mentorism because I believe they need it being young kids. And a black man. I think it's important that they have someone like a Kenny Payne, like a Mike Woodson, that's been around for a little while, got some experience, and can offer them advice from the perspective of a black man. That's just the way I feel about that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we will see the way that Tom Thibodeau goes about replacing Kenny Payne if it happens. I do want to read to you a couple of more aspects from the deal, if the deal were to take place, that were written in the article. Kenny Payne has some history in Louisville. Okay, he's a former Louisville player. He was a key cog in their 1986 national championship. And he's supported throughout the community. They've championed Kenny Payne, the black community, in particular, has championed Kenny Payne to be the next head coach. We will see how that goes down, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, big shout out to you. I appreciate your time. You know, much love to Kenny Payne if he gets the job. I wish him nothing but the best, and I hope that the New York Knicks are able to replace him uh, with a strong assistant coach that can really support Tom Thibodeau as well as support the players in the locker room. I'm out, ladies and gentlemen. Peace. This is NBK, nothing but Knicks. When Sim pass the assist, you know that it's number one show that breaks down the game. If you can't play defense, stay out my way. Dribble the ball, come down the lane. Five seconds on the shot clock, who gon' win us the game? You wanna hear Nick updates and trade rumors? Post game reviews, this the place you tune in. So tell a friend just to keep the ball moving. Like the page if you're feeling the movement. Every game we come in to win. Give us a sob like a player that came off the bench. This is NBK, nothing but Knicks.